If your app depends on playing videos, I will share with you four essential principles that will transform your app performance and make streaming videos inside your app blazing fast. First up, get closer to your users with a CDN. CDN or Content Delivery Network is fundamental for your video streaming infrastructure. Especially the CDN caching, your cloud service provider is going to take a copy of your videos and they're going to place it on a server that is geographically closer to your users. So if your users are located in the Middle East, your videos are going to be served from a server that resides somewhere in the Middle East. When the route becomes shorter, the download speed is going to be faster. Principle number two, stream is smarter, not harder. If you serve your video as a one giant MP4 file, the whole video is going to be downloaded on your user's device even if the user doesn't play the video. This is going to be a huge waste for the user's data, your bandwidth, and your app performance. Use a modern streaming protocol like HLS or Dash. These technologies are going to debundle your video into smaller chunks and only one chunk would be loaded to preview the video and the more the user is going to play, the more chunks will be downloaded. In this case, you make sure you download only what the user is going to watch. Nothing is going to be wasted. You can take this a step further and implement adaptive streaming. You will create a multiple versions of your video with different qualities and the playing quality will depend on the user internet speed. You probably saw this in the YouTube video as the quality raise and drop depending on your connection speed. Principle number three. Don't re-download, implement local caching on the user device. If the user watches the video more than once, why make them download the video every single time? That's again a waste for the user's data and your bandwidth. By caching the video on the user's device, you make sure that the video is going to be downloaded only once. And if the user is going to play the video again, the video is going to be loaded from the local version or the local cache on the user's device. I have a deep dive on how to exactly implement that feature on my channel. Make sure to check this out. The last principle is the UI optimization. The previous principles were related to the back end and the infrastructure. But this one is related to the front end and the UI. You have to make sure to use a high performant and well maintained library to play your videos. You don't want to waste all the effort you have spent on the back end and the infrastructure by using outdated library. Also don't forget to implement UI elements like indicators for buffering and loading. If you implement these four principles, I guarantee you your users are going to be highly grateful for the experience you are providing to them. Thank you very much.